Hey, white bread. Hey, white bread. Oh, look, it's the meat in the middle. So people, like, fucking hate this motherfucker. Like, they've never even met him, but they, what do they call you? Everything. What was uh, the... Tattoo. Tattoo. Somebody said, what, the helicopter couldn't just drop you off in Mexico? They called me a pygmy. They call him a pygmy. And they, what they call him, a hook-nosed dolphin? <laughs> they call, yeah, they call my fiancé a hook-nosed dolphin tooth, which we couldn't even be offended by because we couldn't figure out what it might possibly mean. So we, like, were Googling it and stuff, but nothing came up. So it was original. It, you it get was, points of originality. It was new. Um, so this morning, dudes are like, why, why do you keep making videos like this? I go, obviously, you haven't watched the videos because these videos get all kinds of replies. People share these videos. It gets me post watch. It gets me replies, which brings us higher in the Google count. I mean, every, everything about it just, just comes up higher. So FX recently has had some guys come on, talk shit to me on, on a video that we did. So I engaged them, and they took issue with that. And they take issue with FX doing, doing business with us and doing videos with us, but it's the same thing. Like, it just drives fucking a shitload of traffic to them. And really, he seems real fucking nice, and he is real nice, but he's more like us than you think he is. Um, plus, he's, he's about to get initiated to the club. Are you, move, are you moving to Camden, possibly? I am working on it. Because uh, I just talked to Jaeger, and I said, hey, I heard Jordan's moving to Camden. And he said, he's working on it. I said, that'd be good to have here. He goes, yeah, I'd like to have that fucker here. So whether you know it or not, I think you're moving to Camden. Yeah. Um, so Alfie, uh, the dude, he's in a scooter. Like, he's the Walmart scooter dude. They make the memes of him. He, like, falls over trying to get the cookies. Alfie per came out and professed that he's leaving the FX Hummel page. And um, I, after doing so... I noticed that he was there posting again last night because I keep getting tagged in the in the fucking the thread of it. But like, why do those guys do that shit? Like, it's like you said, you go, those dudes will never. You'll be back. It's they, like, they they always state, you know, why they're gonna leave and that they're going to leave, and I sometimes just reply, I have no reason to believe that you won't be back. <laughs> it's like um, the cult leader leader in uh, Road Trip. She'll be back. They all come back. It's, it's just like that. So, like, do you lose anything when one of them guys walks? No, not at all. In fact, I hardly even ever have to reply because a bunch of people they do it for dog, dog yeah. pile on for me. And sometimes more creatively than I would have even replied. So I'm like, all right, it's all you. Get them. Yeah, get them. What those, those guys don't realize is, like, when you, when you do that shit, you open yourself up. And you might have really thought you were leaving, but you'll keep coming back to see what people are saying about you. But it also... Whether you admit it or not, like it hurts your feelings, and you go out and and actively talk shit about it, wherever this place, wherever it was that happened, Jordan's page, for instance, our page, Tactical Pablo, where it, whatever it was, you don't realize it, but you become a mouthpiece for us. While you're out there talking shit, you expose everybody around you that you're talking shit to, to our pages, and our gains come up, our likes come up, our accounts come up. And we get dudes every day that go, hey, I heard about you from this dude talking shit. And they'll put a link. And sure as shit, it's always you guys talking shit. Mm -hmm. I took a page right out of your book this past weekend with the the people that were the dude who said I should get dropped off In at Mexico? the border. Yeah, like when we took the helicopter ride, he's like, why didn't they drop you off across the border? I was like, screenshot, screenshot, and just put them both on the Tactical Pablo page. Just because, like, to me, one, it didn't hurt my feelings, too. Like, I was like, that's... Okay, that's funny. Like, I, I would laugh. I take issue with it, though. Like, you can't talk shit to my brown boy. <laughs> Only I can talk shit to my brown boy. Like, I bought that motherfucker. Like, I own him outright. Like, I got him off fucking eBay. He ain't mowing anybody's lawns but mine or whoever's lawn we send him to mow. Like, you can't just fucking make my brown boy mow your grass. Like, he can only mow our grass or Jordan's grass. He can mow Jordan's grass. He built my deck. Like, he... And, and mowing here is a serious business. Like, we got, I got two acres worth of shit to mow at my house. and um, That's tough with scissors. Yeah, with scissors. I've gotten good at it, though. And, and, like, lawns around here are fucking 20 acres and shit. Like, you either, you're in a mobile home or you're in a mansion. Like, there's not a lot in between here. So, I'm not in a mobile home. What else you got? I don't got nothing, man. The camera's I... fucking moving. Talk to it. Okay, well, you know, uh, I, I have to admit that I enjoy reading all the... Uh, all the interactions with people and uh, sometimes I don't have a lot to say and I think something is really important is that uh, what you said earlier about us, about us being similar is that we are similar like where it matters 
you know, and, and like values and stuff like that. But I mean, the three of us here all have very different personalities. Jaeger has a different personality than all of us. So, I mean, like a lot of times, you know, I'll just do a video with John and like immediately people think that like, you know, I, I am John and John and I just have a different, we, we have like a different way of doing things, but I mean, we're similar like where it matters. But, uh, I think a lot of people think that, you know, everything that you do or say or act is going to rub off on me or, or vice versa, which obviously is not the case at all. But, um, I think just realize that is that, um, you know, there's different people with different personalities here and even if there's there's some aspect of that that you might disagree with I mean this dude's really really successful and if you're smart you would pay attention to that and try to learn and glean from that even if there's some aspects of any three of us or anybody here at Tactical Response that, that you don't like I mean look at their success and, and if you're smart I would try to follow that and glean from that what you can and on personally that's that, that, that's what i try to yeah, do and on that that's another thing like whenever we happen to voice an opinion about something like with some of the recent stuff we voice opinions on you immediately think that because someone voiced an opinion on it that they stand by or behind that particular topic but all it was given was an opinion and if you actually listened or thought about the things that you see and hear you'd understand that it doesn't make you a part of something just because you observed it and talked about it I don't know. I just I noticed that happens a lot. Like we say one thing, like people will take that one little tidbit and turn it into something that we didn't say at all. I just yeah, you're you're seeing that happen. Guys going like like they can't affect us. They come to us and talk shit. We'll take we'll only take so much. We'll ban it. And you won't talk shit. Fucking I've got, you know, it's taken me three years to develop our Facebook page to where it is. Go fucking talk all the shit you want on your Facebook page with your hundred fans. You're not gonna do it to fucking three hundred three hundred fifty thousand of mine. We'll let, you, we'll let you go, we'll poke you and prod you for a little bit, but eventually we're just going to ban you, and you keep sending your buddies and we ban them. So when that doesn't work, they'll go out to people's pages we do business with and try to have the whole dialogue there, thinking like, because they sell our products, they're going to fucking strong arm that dude, and he's just going to quit doing business with us. When in reality, we've done business with those dudes for fucking a decade or so. Like, you just showed up. Nobody knows who the fuck you are. Nobody cares who you are. You got all the First Amendment you want in your fucking living room, not in my living room. You can say whatever you want on the internet, but you're not going to say it on my fucking Facebook page. It's just not going to happen. If we agree with you, perfect. If we disagree with you, we'll let you go for a little while, but when you fucking get, you know, just hateful and fucking attacking or, or try to, you know, affect my business, which is really what it is. You guys think you're going to affect my bottom line, and it really, it works backwards for you. You do not. See, you can, you can post everything you want on our page. We'll let you go for a little while, but everybody on our page already knows us. We ban you because you will then go out and post all that shit someplace else and expose new people to us, and you post a link to our page, and you write articles about us and whatever, and it just draws a shit, it drives traffic to us. It turns into dollars. Why would I let you fucking fill my page up with a bunch of nonsense? Everybody on my page knows who the hell we are. So by banning you, it lights that fire under your ass, and now you work for us. You go out there and you fucking drive and you go put this places that we can't go. And it, and it works. Yeah, and uh, you know, the other thing that I think is sometimes kind of funny is that uh, somebody thinks like somebody thinks John Willis is an asshole, right? But then, then they'll go, they'll, uh, they'll attack you and then they'll say, like, then they'll go and attack like your gear. Right. Or, or like your product, right, right, your right. art, whatever it is. And you're thinking to yourself like, what? Like, like if you're, even if you think that about John, if you're not smart enough, to like be able to separate the two, like the product, I mean, you know, from the, the, the maker, then uh, there's something seriously wrong, dude, especially and, if you, and that's, that's your only thing left to. That's the reality of it. They, they had nothing really. They didn't like something they saw. I opened up and fucking, you know, I, I replied to them, you know, I'll come at them harder than they come at me. And they have nothing left. Like that's all they got. Well, I didn't want your shitty gear anyways, really. Yeah, that's so, funny because everyone else across the entire world that's, does. That's cool. Like, we ship things from Tennessee, Tennessee to Tokyo. Who cares what you want? That, and that's the reality of it. Like, and, and, you know, we had some dude show up on a, a thread last night. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Rick Ross. He looked just, you know Rick Ross is? He looks just <laughs> like Rick Ross. Um, and uh, he said, he started talking shit. And he said, you know, other people ship their belts, and I got my belt in four days or whatever. And uh, the reality is we ship... It used to be 100. It's over 100 a day now, just Way just in belts. Right. We're shipping 250 or so packages a day. We're shipping 120, 150 belts a day. A lot of dudes get their shit 
in three, four, five days. I mean, we do have orders that, you know, definitely take longer, and we tell you that up front. But we quote those dudes. Like, if, if a dude needs a hard answer as to when he's going to get his shit, you probably shouldn't order from us. Fucking order it. Forget you ordered it. When it shows up, be pleasantly surprised. But, I mean, a lot of dudes get their shit in three or four or five days. There's also dudes that take six, eight weeks. There's dudes waiting four or five months for shit. And we told them up front, we're not going to have that. But um, that's the reality of it. Like, you can say what you want any place you want, but it's only going to go so far on, you know, on our pages. Jordan doesn't monitor anything. He just lets it go. And not all, not not always, but often. But yeah, more uh, more uh, SOE gear reviews on the way. And uh, I feel like every time I post a video up with you now, it's sort of like, like you pull the pin and you're like... You know, it could be like it could be on like a wallet, and it's like, uh oh, that's, that, <laughs> here it that, comes. And that's what it was. The dude, <laughs> dude showed up. So this is bullshit. Not all gear in your life has to be SOE gear. Nobody said it had to be. What are you? You're fucking pissed off. We make a wallet. Fucking everybody makes a wallet. We made a wallet twenty fucking years. The same wallet. Just because your fucking dumbass just found out about it, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But I mean, we make we make a pretty damn good wallet. You you see them come up what every, every day every, almost. Every, We're probably every making day, wallets. Every day. So, yeah. and we talk about the haters, and of course, there's way more guys that like you know we that we know enjoy the videos and enjoy the gear. So appreciate you guys too. It's just it's the haters that stand out. Oh yeah, I mean that's right. and we use them to our advantage. The, unfortunately, a happy customer is pretty much probably a happy dude in the rest of his life. So he's not out there, you know, every chance he gets. But a dude that's that you know is irate, that's that drives him. I mean that motivates him. So. Happy customer tells three, unhappy customer tells 20. That's right. So we just, we have fun. Here we are making a video, making fun of you guys and uh, talking to the people that, you know, matter. don't talk shit. The yeah. people that matter. Yeah, good. Exactly. And, uh, all right, get back to work. Yeah, your, your lunch break's probably up. I don't have a watch You're on You're naked just, right now. I just got back from the gym. So, um, it's time to go back to class. Time to go back to class. Uh, yeah. You're probably late. Yeah, a little bit. No, 2 o'clock. No, you're good. Cool. All right. That's it. Bye. We're not going to give you any sign-off or signature line. That's bullshit. We don't need that.